copper tools certainly did not do. This. 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 Or this in Egypt. And definitely not these. The sandstone bedrock of Petra Jordan looks like a large excavator scraped away material in one fell swoop. But wait, if we look a little bit closer, it actually looks like the point or tip of the tool was liquefying the bedrock. In Peru, this is how these once perfectly fitted stones look when you happen to nudge them apart with a strong enough earthquake. The contours continue across multiple adjoining blocks. Lastly, this Egyptian statue is made from stones that are significantly harder than most steel tools. Let's scan it with a handheld microscope to get a close-up of the striations of the tool marks on its surface. These are not the random jagged marks of dull copper tools, and are not the random swirls or spirals of hand sanding. It is more like the uniformity of milling machines or power tools. Notably,